Hi everyone, so in this video you'll be seeing how to use the CDI producers. The CDI producers is one of the features that belong to the CDI specification. That is a rich specification with a lot of a lot of features. So let's see how we can use CDI producers in a war application. So I will create here new Maven project. I don't want an archetype. So the group ID and the artifact ID, CDI producer, and this is gonna be our application. So let's finish. The project is gonna be created in our Eclipse. I will just add a few dependencies to our pwn.xml file. So here I have added this Maven War plugin uh, in farming adding this property that it shouldn't fail if there is no web.xml file in the project we don't need a web.xml file, we have just a simple application and I'm adding the dependencies to SLFRJ API so it can do some logging and the Java e API for the Java 6 for Java 7 this should work as fine as in this, in this case so let me create now uh, a simple interface here that we'll be using to inject in our client code so for example I have a package here CDI producer an interface called simple DAO this interface it has just one method that is void and it's called to do something it's just a simple interface and we have a class that is gonna be implementing this interface called file simple DAO. Let's add the interface here that you'll be implementing. And uh, if you just have this code here, um, we can inject the simple DAO in any CDI bin because the file simple DAO is, is the only implementation in the class path, so that should work fine. However, uh, in our situation, we will have a constructor that will be receiving the the base DIR parameter. So let me create a parameter a constructor here. So source generate constructors using fields, and then we will be setting this field. As we are we don't have a default constructor here. This class is not eligible for a CDI bin because for a class being a CDI bin it needs to have a default constructor a non-argument constructor which is not the case here so let me also add a logger here so we can just make a printing and then logger.info and then we can just say invoking do something with base tier and the base tier parameter just to, to informative message here and in order to create to make this project a CDI a CDI project we needed to to create a folder called metainf and an empty file called bins.xml okay so so far so good but uh, we also need now to inject the simple DAO into some other class so what I'm gonna do is to create a servlet so that you can test this application using the browser and in this servlet I will be injecting one instance of the simple DAO interface so let me create package here called servlet and call this servlet client let me create one more package here now so we can move these classes to this package just to organize better our code okay and this servlet client so this is a web servlet 
we don't need declare the servlet in the web.xml file anymore from the java 6 so it will be listening to the for the slash client your URL pattern and this needs to extend HTTP servlet you'll be overwriting the do get methods and here we'll be injecting an instance of simple DAO in the code here you'll be just invoke simple DAO dot do something okay so the code that you have here is already enough for our first test case so let me get into this project I will compile this using Maven okay it's ready now I will copy this war file to my wildfly you can test this in a JBoss 7 as well so I have a wildfly server installed here in my, my machine so I'll be using this server and JE6 compliant server compliant should be okay and now I'll be starting the wildfly with the, the application deployed so you can see that uh, the application is already is already deployed but it failed it failed let's see the problem here yes so why it failed you see here that we are getting the message unsatisfied dependencies for type simple DAO with qualifiers default so what happens is that in our application we don't have any implementation of a simple DAO interface that can be injected as a CDI bin because the only implementation you have doesn't have a default constructor so let me create a class here that will be responsible for creating instances of that uh, of that class that needs a, a parameter in the constructor so simple DAO producer simple class and uh, here we have a method annotated with produces this method needs to be public it's gonna return a simple DAO and uh, can give any name to this method the important part here is the produce annotation the type that is being returned let me also add a log message here so for example, logger.info creating file DAO and return new file simple DAO and uh, any directory here. This is not important, it's not relevant for our test case. So let me run this again. So I'll compile again the application. And see if it now our servlet is gonna work as expected. So I'm just doing a, a hot deploy here of the application, and let's try run this. So you can see here that uh, the creating file DAO method in our producer was invoked, and uh, the message in our file simple DAO is being printed here. So everything is working as expected. So how does this work? Uh, when CDI tries to inject an instance of a simple DAO in this class, it will look for any class that implements this interface that uh, has a, a, a default constructor with no parameter, or it, uh, it, it will also look for some produces, producer methods that are creating objects of that type. So in this case here, it will match the inject the, the injection point for this servlet and then uh, you may be wondering when these instances are being created so you see here that we have the creating file DAO and uh, but and then invoking the method if you run this again you see that just invoking do something method message is being printed the creating file DAO is not being executed again but why is this happening if the default uh, scope of a 
CDI being is dependent. So we have just one instance of our servlet client. We don't have a uh, heavy load in our in our test. So just one instance of simple DAO is required here. For example, if I create one more instance, one more class, one more servlet here, for example, client one, and uh, try to, to 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 deploy this application to our to our wildfly. Let's see here, it's deployed. So if you run this, just the client to see that you are creating the file DAO, and there is the message. If you run again, just the message. And if you invoke the client one, you can see that the creating file DAO is being invoked again, just the first time. So as you can see, the scope of this producer is the default one that is dependent. But in our case, we just want to have one instance of file simple DAO being created for the whole application. So the first thing you can imagine is that you can need to add the application scope the annotation to our producer class. And that should be should be enough for, for our case. So let's see if that's gonna work as we are expecting. So we want just one instance of file simple DAO to be created, just one message of this. So if you run the first client Okay, it's created the file DAO. Again, it's okay. And if you invoke client one, you see that the file simple DAO is being created again. So why is that happen? The point here, many people make this confusion, is that the scope annotation needs to be added, added to the producer method and not to the producer class. So if you want just one instance of simple DAO to be created, we need to add the application scope the notation to the producer method, just like this. So if you compile again this application and deploy it to, to our server, we can try now again. So let me run the first client. You see that we have the creating file DAO. If you run again, just the message, okay. Let's see what happens when you run the client one. You see that you just have the message. So just one instance of file DAO was, was created. So that's one point to be aware of, is that the scope annotation needs to be added in the producer method and not in the producer class. So that's it for, for this video. It's just a basic introduction and some, some key points of uh, using CDI producer and I hope that this was useful for you.